I hope you guys are ready for more fairy tale openings. So last week we did openings one to nine, and uh, this week I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be continuing and doing uh, openings ten to eighteen. So uh, if you guys want to see the remaining ones after this, which I believe will be nineteen to twenty-six, I think. Um, then let me know in the uh, in the comments below and support the video because uh, if people aren't interested in seeing it I probably won't do it if people are interested in seeing it. I probably will do it So make sure to let me know what your preference is and uh, And yeah support the video as much as you can also if you didn't know already in my Description there is a patreon account that you can go to if you want to watch the full-length reactions all you gotta do is uh, sync up the videos with me and you can watch the entire reactions without the editing and stuff and it makes for a bit of a smoother experience for most people. So if you wanna do that, you can. Anyway, uh, today we're jumping into more fairy tale openings. I remember in the last video, you know, there were some ups and downs, but there were some that I really, really liked. And I think it was opening eight. That was like my favorite so far. And um, I still kind of remember it in my head. But uh, it's been a week now, so this is going to be looking at it with pretty fresh eyes. I'm feeling rejuvenated and I'm ready to watch them. Um, and also, last week you'll notice in the video, like part way through the video, all the, all the uh, OPs were suddenly in good quality. It's because I found where these OPs have been posted it, that I can watch it smoothly. So um, hopefully the rest of them should be in good quality, I think. I think they all should be in HD and stuff. So yeah, let's uh, jump into this. We're going to start with opening 10 and go on from there. So here we go. Okay. Can, is that just a cool effect or can he actually like make his entire body fire like that? You know, an aura of fire. Okay. Cute. Who dis? It's focusing on him a lot. Oh my God, it's One Piece now. Oh, okay. Intense uh, battle. Oh, that guy looks cool. I like it. <laughs> oh, this is a cute song. Ooh. Yeah, I mean the the character designs are still eye-catching. There's another cat! There's a third one. Okay, seeing some parallels between that white-haired girl and black-haired boy. Cool, okay, alright, we're seeing what seem to be new characters. I mean, obviously there's a lot of new characters and everything, but like maybe new characters that might be more re recurring because there was that that black cat, we've already had the blue cat and the white cat, and now we have a black cat, and that black cat's a new one, right? I don't think we've seen them in previous OBs before. Um, man, they keep adding cats. They keep adding them. <laughs> I thought, like, the first one would have just been like, oh, it's one of its kind in its species or whatever, but no, there's... There are several, and they're joining the crew over time. I feel like I wouldn't like that cat character. I don't know, just like looking at the character, it feels like the sort of character I wouldn't like just based on the design, but who knows, maybe I would. Anyway, that was uh, opening 10, so let's now move on to Fairy Tale opening 11. Here we go. Oh, that's a nice little farmhouse. Okay. I'm trying to tell how much I like the song. Okay. No, it's got rap. It's won me over. Oh yeah, it's really won me over. Oh, she looks happy. Is she is there romance going on? She was like blushing and had flowers. Or it could have been a death. I don't know. Stop dancing like that in the OP. <laughs> okay, I do like this song. The rap really brought it up several points. There are more cats. There's four now. They're all running perfectly in sync. Oh, uh, blonde girl looks very cool in that shot. Is that a weapon? Is that supposed to be like a, you know, like a keyblade or something from uh, Kingdom Hearts? I haven't ever actually played Kingdom Hearts. I, I take my entire Kingdom Hearts knowledge on like Smash Bros and like shit I've seen over time from other people talking about Kingdom Hearts. I've never actually played the games myself, um, but that's what it reminds me of, like the keyblade or like... Uh, there's another weapon that that seems like it is. And I imagine it's a weapon. It's kind of a cool design. It might not be. Nah, but it's gotta be. Like, that's totally a blade going into the ground, right? And I think we saw someone holding it before, but I, I can't remember. It, I don't know. 
I don't know. If we did, it was like blended in there somewhere and I can't remember anymore. Um, but okay, that was a pretty good one. No real complaints here. I mean, I think the the visuals were pretty solid just because, I mean, they were simple. I genuinely, with OPs, I do actually like OPs that kind of just do simple showing characters doing stuff. Showing characters doing cool stuff. Like, that's kind of all I need from OPs sometimes. Um... But, uh, like, obviously, the occasional OP that does, like, really creative stuff is great. But, uh, but sometimes they just need to show me consistent animation throughout the OP, and I'm happy. And this OP showed me consistent animation, so I'm pretty happy with it. Okay, that was OP 11. Let's move on to OP 12. This gets more and more like One Piece by the second, I think. Do they just ride a ship now? And what's this cool clock thing? It's a clock on legs. Aw, is that supposed to be like her mother or something? Or just a, oh, well, she's gone now. <laughs> Ooh. I do like the song. A good singer. All right, I've seen some of the past. Some superheroes or villains. I hate that guy. The chorus of this song is very good. It reminds me of um the Blue Lock OP1 people. Oh my god, is she dying? Aww. I, I liked seeing through her eye. I think that's what that was. Like seeing through her eye him falling and she was crying. Like that's, that's sweet. <laughs> I like that. Um... But, uh, but yeah, hey, pretty good, pretty good. I mean, yeah, like, there's, I, I like that the end of the OP was based around a character dynamic there and, like, emotion and stuff. I like that. I like in OPs when it shows, like, a character going to save another character or caring a lot about another character in, in ways like that. Um, it reminds me of, like, the My Hero, um, opening for the start of season four, the f first half of season four, where it's got, like, um... Deku and Aerie are both like falling in the middle of like the sky there's just like no ground and they're falling and they're circling around each other and Deku's trying to reach out to grab her like I I've always liked that imagery I've always found that very cute and uh and it sets me up to like I I'm already connected to the emotion of the show whenever that OP goes because I'm like fuck I want to save her like I I I, I would just want her, him to grab her hand and everything to be fine you know so, um, so I like that sort of imagery. I know it's very simple imagery. It's not, it's nothing incredibly in depth, you know, I can praise things even if I think that they're also tropes and they're also cliches, but they could be used to good effect. So, uh, so I liked that in this, in this OP. All right, let's, uh, move on to the next one. It is, uh, opening number 13. Here we go. This is fun. This is fun and sweet. Is this the, like a tournament arc? Oh my god. I mean, it might be. It totally is. Look at that. This looks fun. Stop it! Go away! <laughs> I I really like tournament arcs. So this sort of thing excites me. The fuck is it? What? That whole crew looks weird as fuck. Every character has something weird about them. More cats! The song's a bit weird. I don't hate it, it's just weird. Sounds a bit low quality, doesn't it? Oh my god. Hello. Cool. Alright, well, I that's that's it seems like that's just a tournament arc. That like that's gotta be all that is. I mean Sounds cool though. I mean, I don't know what exactly. It looks like some something that the whole like a tournament that the whole city knows about, and it looks like a big city. Um, where's the, yeah, like this image of the city. Like that's a pretty massive city, but well, actually, I don't know. I don't know if this is the same place though, because there's this like weird castle in the middle. But where's like the Colosseum that they were in? I don't think that's the same thing. I don't know. Or is it, like, up there? Is that the Colosseum? It's hard to see on the... Uh, it's cut off on your 
your version, but there's like a thing up top, the top of the mountain here that kind of looks like a circle. Maybe that's a coliseum. I don't know. I, I really don't know. Um, but it did look like they were in some sort of coliseum, right? Um, but regardless, seems... Oh, yeah, I think it is. Because, look, you see these statues up here? And then if you go back to that shot... Um, whoops, not this shot. <laughs> uh, if you go back to this shot... Yeah, you can see the statues up there on the mountain. Found it! Ha ha! <laughs> My theory crafting worked. Um, cool. Well, that's that's cool. Uh, so yeah, that no, that genuinely looks. I I, gen I genuinely don't mean to keep going back to that bikini shop, but oh well. Um, I do think that that looks fun. I there's something about tournament arcs. I think it's just like when you have these characters with unique powers and stuff like you're always going to have the question of like oh if this person went up against this person who would win so it's like it's basically the show going hey let's give us a reason to answer those questions you know and uh and i mean i i do think if there's a tournament arc that doesn't have any depth to it then yeah it can be kind of boring or bad um, so I think what they need is to make sure that there's character arcs going on throughout the tournament arc that are being paid off and stuff. Um, and I mean, a lot of the time in shows like this, the tournament will be interrupted by some big bad threat or whatever. I kind of don't like that because I think it's better if the tournament just plays out and then they can move on to big bad threats. But, ah, uh, well, I don't know what this show does. Uh, anyway, cool. That's uh, opening 13. Let's move on to opening 14. Alright. Alright, female vocals. Oh, man. I kind of like that. It feels like an older song, though, you know? Oh, my God. This almost kind of feels like a different show. Wait, is is the tournament continuing? I think it might be. The, the Coliseum was still there. They might just have like the end of the tournament at this part of the show. And the rest of it is villain stuff. Yeah, I like this song. This is a fun song. Yeah, they're still in the Coliseum. They're still fighting there. Damn, must be a long one then. If it transcended an entire OP. I don't know how often they switch OPs. Oh, there, just confirmed that they were the ones on top of that mountain. What the fuck happened to the rest of the city? Hello? <laughs> oh my god. So is it like while they're having fun doing a tournament, the villains are wiping out everything else? Because there was a city here. <laughs> and there's no longer a city there. That's actually pretty crazy if they wiped out that entire city. Or maybe the Colosseum's mountain was moved to a place of rubble. I don't know. But... Pretty intense, whatever it was. I liked the song. That was a fun song. Um, all right, cool. Let's move on to uh, opening... What was it? What's this one? 15. Opening 15. I think they might have destroyed a city. Look at this. They're like looking at the rubble of everything. I'm getting a story told to me just through these OPs. This seems fucked. So did they lose hard? Is that okay? They've all got memories. They're all standing in rubble. Is there nothing left? Oh, this isn't what I expected it to be. This is strange. I don't know if I've heard an anime OP with this kind of music. Oh my god. Be good to sing along to. God damn. Aww! Oh, that's cute. Okay, alright, you won me over with that final shot. That's cute. But, I mean, I guess I guess it depends if I think it's cute, depending on how Natsu's character is. And I guess how, how her character is, but like, I care less about that. Like, <laughs> she she could be a terrible person and I'll still probably simp for her. But, um, but I mean, look, uh, it, the, the smirk he's giving there, I'm not sure. It's hard to know if he's, like, just from watching these OPs, if he's the kind of guy who I'd be rooting for him getting with the girl or whatever, or I'd be like, no, he's a douchebag and, <laughs> and that shouldn't be happening. But I don't know. Got no idea. Um, cool. All right. Well, that's uh, OP 15. Um, and uh, I mean, it looks like things are pretty fucking dire. Let's move on to opening 16. Now I'm curious 
just to see how the story played out and like what the world looks like in this opening. So let's do it. Okay, that looks like a younger version of... What? Was that the city exploding? Wait, there's a clock. Did they go back in time? What happened? That's my prediction. Maybe the city was destroyed and they went back in time. We're doing some fucking endgame shit here. Oh my god. I don't know if this looks... Whoa. Okay, this rap is interesting. I don't know if this looks engaging or if it looks like too much. I'm not sure. What would I think of it if I was watching it? Ooh, good chorus. I like that they're putting the rap in the chorus too. <laughs> the, the rap is fun. Every time they got rap in these. Oh my gosh, it, well, it's still rubble there. That was, there was still rubble, but maybe, maybe it's good rubble this time. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, I, cool. It looked, they were focusing on some clock imagery there. They could possibly be going back in time, but I don't know. I have no idea. Um, cool. All right. Well, uh, I liked the rap there. I liked the... The, uh, I mean, I, I like when you fuse rap with, like, cool, emotional, like, rock vocals as well. And you, like, incorporate them both into the chorus. That's, that's nice. Um, all right, let's do OP 17 now. We're starting off with a picture of a, uh, of, like, a castle. Maybe everything's back. Maybe the buildings are back and stuff. I don't know. Okay. We're starting with a fucking Sonic song. Okay, I like it. Everyone seems happy and together. Are we past all the dark shit? Look, they're in a town that's all together. I think we might be past the dark part. Oh, this is interesting. Yeah, this is good. What the heck? There's like magical girl wands there. I, I do, I like these dynamic poses actually, they're nice. This is so much more happy than the previous ones. This is making me feel good again. Oh my god. I really like the song as well, actually. Awesome. Amazing. Um, that was a good one. I really liked that. That's one of my favorite ones of this video so far, I think. Um, it does, I think, help that coming after some pretty dark OPs. Where that one was like, them hanging out together. There's some cool poses of each one. You know, there's fireworks. What's it playing? Don't play anything. Um, there's fireworks of each, uh, with each character and stuff. There's, like, lots of cool stuff going on. Uh, they're in a train, they're having fun together. Like, that's sometimes what we need after some, uh, pretty intense parts of the show. So, uh, I feel like that's, that's the case. Let's move on to the final OP that we're doing in this video. And that is OP number 18. Ooh. Okay, this is a cool one. They've all got that symbol. What? What's he wearing? Is this a meme? We're watching a meme here. They're all in like gangster clothing. I, I do like the uh, stop it, go away. I do like the song. I really like the song. It sounds like it's like a boy band idol group type thing. Okay, all right. See a lot of wait. The cat can transform into a muscly cat? What the heck? Cool. Alright, yeah, that was cool. That was a cool one. I didn't mean to play it again. That was a cool one. I... I, I enjoyed that one. It was... There was some more confusing stuff going on in there. Um, and my eyes sort of glossed over at some point when they were showing like a lot of stuff, but, uh, but it was cool. I'm gonna go to the discussion now. Okay, and that was fairy tale openings, uh, whatever to whatever, 10 to 18, I think. Um, those were enjoyable. I think, like, I, I don't, I don't think I had any ones in this video that I thought were like massive standouts. Um, but, uh, but I think the one that I mentioned was my favorite. Was that 17? I think it was either 16 or 17. Um, 
that one that one i is you know was really solid um i don't think it's i don't think i like it quite as much as like op8 um but i do i did really like it and but I, the thing i did like in this video was like piecing together a little bit of a story or thematic stuff going on um i found that quite fun and i think it seems like one of those shows that like if you were into it you know this would be a lot of fun to watch and some of these arcs would sound fun if i was like attached to these characters so like looks like there was a tournament arc that led into like some really horrible villain arc thing that was going on and then there was like something relaxing afterwards and them hanging out and then it was like leading more into some some danger stuff again but um you know you're gonna be in that cycle where you're probably gonna have like really dark horrible arcs and then you're gonna have these like kind of lighter arcs where they're still working for something but it's not as serious um i hope this show can sort of balance that in there um but also i hope that some shows when they like balance comedy and action the comedy qu isn't really that good that you're actually when the comedy's on you're like this doesn't feel like uh alleviating me this is just kind of annoying <laughs> to have on screen you know what i mean um so i have no idea if fairy tale is one of those shows it's kind of hard to tell because it does have like sort of light and goofy enough of an art style and characters and stuff that i feel like maybe i'd feel like that way about the show but i really don't know anyway that's fairy tale those are the second part of all of the openings so uh, i hope you enjoyed it if you did let me know and maybe i will do a part three and do all the rest of the openings in a single video so hope you enjoyed this uh support the video if you can like and commenting and subscribing and go to my patreon account in the description below if you want full length uh reactions early access exclusive videos there's also a vip tier so you can request a reaction if you join that tier and uh, i will do it if you just request it and uh, you're in that tier i will do the reaction so thanks for watching i'll see you next time goodbye